New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg was in Israel on Sunday night to dedicate the new Magen David Adom Jerusalem headquarters. During a press conference, the mayor was asked if he would agree to the Shalit deal if he was in a similar circumstance. Uh, Israel has a strong tradition of always bringing people back. And I'm sure that is something that all Israelis feel. And I'm not in a position to make a decision for the Israeli government of what they should do in any one situation. Uh, but always uh, the, the right of return is what this is really all about, even if you're not alive. And Israel feels very strongly about that. And uh, I respect the Prime Minister's decision. I have absolutely no idea what I would do if I were in his situation. Mayor Bloomberg said he does not know if there's a direct connection between the Occupy Wall Street protests in New York and the social protests of Israel, but Bloomberg said that around the world people are showing their frustrations. There are lots of ideas. Lots of people in these demonstrations uh, are there for lots of different reasons and there are some things that obviously I would support and some things I obviously would not support. I think what you are seeing is the fact that many people around the world are not finding the opportunities after they get out of school that they would like to have, and they are frustrated. After the dedication ceremony, Mayor Bloomberg met with Prime Minister Netanyahu and gave him as a present an American flag that was waved in Washington in honor of Gilad Shalit's return home. One of our congressmen, Gary Ackerman, a congressman from New York, uh, had this American flag flown above our nation's capital and asked me to present it to you and if you would give it to uh, the family perhaps. Thank you for uh, this very thoughtful and moving gesture and I'm sure all the people of Israel appreciate the forthright support of uh, the people of New York and the people of America. The new Mug and Dove at a Dome Center was sponsored by Michael Bloomberg in memory of his father, William, and his donation was made to the American Friends of MDA. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.